time jump we see celebrities either on social media television or in person we assume they have it all together but we forget that they are also human well here are some of the low points of some of your favorite celebrities it's a long story man because after you know after i left church because i love music so much like i love music right from since when i was nine from my primary school days i love music so i started working yeah in a pure water company mm. you know where i was paid fifteen thousand up in a month i was earning wow. very low salary then but i had no choice i had to do it because i had to pay for studio session you know go to shows before you buy one or two you know boss no, boss coro for you to wear money don't finish you know you know I went through so many challenges, man. After, you know, I started working at Loot again, you know. Loot, Lagos State, yeah. you know. Like, like I, what? In what capacity? Yeah, um, health attendance, yeah. Okay. I worked for eight years. Wow. You know, where I gathered all my salary just to make sure, you know, everything went well for me. But thank God, you know, after the also, you know, so many dirty jobs that I, that I did then, but thank God today I'm here, you know. Even while I was Waji, you know, I was squatting with a friend. I couldn't afford a house. You know, I couldn't afford, uh, afford an apartment of my own mm. in my early years as a musician, you know. And, you know, sometimes at some point it was from one friend's house to the other yeah. because you also have to be sensitive to some people. You get the way they go take change and for you, you said mm. go, go find how you go, you understand. Mm -hmm. And even location. at that point, for every money that I made, I knew that my daughter was living with my mom. And I knew that it was my responsibility to cater for my daughter. Mm -hmm. So that I was squatting was no reason why I shouldn't be able to, you know, work and give my daughter something, you know, for her fees, my mom. So even the schools then, they used to spread the fees for me. Sometimes I'll pay up to five times. My first salary was 1,000 Naira. Wow. And then I was in the university. I had not even entered the university, but I was a church secretary. But that 1,000 Naira was enough for me to buy baby milk at the time because I needed to do what needed to be done. Without being too specific, it's just when I was making the transition from working from my grandfather's house to my own space, I, I went from having a lot to not having so much. So I thought I needed to quit, but I, it was just even actual reasons for me to keep going. So I don't need people to just, if they forget anything, they should just understand that if they, are keep, they need to keep watering, they need to keep ensuring the soil is good, and it's seasonal, but they are, they are made of, of the stuff that that roses will grow from, so they'll be fine. Being an entrepreneur in Nigeria has been very difficult. Um, for me, I started my business over 10 years ago, so we're looking at about 12 years now. Um, the challenges along the way <laughs> have been, um, you know, have been many, to say, to say the least. Um, <clears throat> but I think um, one thing that has gotten me through is support. So whenever you're trying to get through a challenging time, look for people around you who can support you. I have a very supportive husband and family. My parents have also been very supportive. Um, it was tough in the early days, but um, I think um, also having a business mind. Um, so <clears throat> it's one thing to have passion, which is great, but you have to support it with, with, with um, a business, business mind, absolutely, if you, want to, um, if you want to succeed and if you really want to scale in your business. Yeah.